Letter the Eighth of Love and Friendship by Jane Austen. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Love and Friendship. Letter the Eighth. Laura to Mary Anne. In continuation. Lady Dorothea had not left us long before another visitor as unexpected a one as her ladyship was announced. It was Sir Edward who, informed by Augusta of her brother's marriage, came doubtless to reproach him for having dared to unite himself to me without his knowledge. But Edward, foreseeing his design, approached him with heroic fortitude as soon as he entered the room, and addressed him in the following manner. Sir Edward, I know the motive of your journey here. You come with the base design of reproaching me for having entered into an indissoluble engagement with my Laura without your consent. But, sir, I glory in the act. It is my greatest boast that I have incurred the displeasure of my father. So saying, he took my hand and whilst Sir Edward philippa and augusta were doubtless reflecting with admiration on his undaunted bravery led me from the parlour to his father's carriage which yet remained at the door and in which we were instantly conveyed from the pursuit of sir edward the postilions had at first received orders only to take the london road as soon as we had sufficiently reflected however we ordered them to drive to m the seat of edward's most particular friend which was but a few miles distant at m we arrived in a few hours and on sending in our names were immediately admitted to sophia the wife of edward's friend after having been deprived during the course of three weeks of a real friend for such i term your mother imagine my transports at beholding one most truly worthy of the name Sophia was rather above the middle size, most elegantly formed. A soft languor spread over her lovely features, but increased their beauty. It was the characteristic of her mind. She was all sensibility and feeling. We flew into each other's arms, and after having exchanged vows of mutual friendship for the rest of our lives, instantly unfolded to each other the most inward secrets of our hearts. We were interrupted in the delightful employment by the entrance of Augustus, Edward's friend, who was just returned from a solitary ramble. Never did I see such an affecting scene as was the meeting of Edward and Augustus. "'My life! My soul!' exclaimed the former. "'My adorable angel!' replied the latter, as they flew into each other's arms. It was too pathetic for the feelings of Sophia and myself. We fainted alternately on a sofa. Adieu. Laura End of Letter the Eighth